There we go. Centered and with the right, with the sound on. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome back. We're playing more uh, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness today. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I was having some technical difficulties. We're fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> All right. Is it okay to continue from here? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh. The controller was drifting. <laughs> okay, so where we left off? Oh, okay, well, yeah, okay. This is about where we left off. Was there anything I was doing? I don't really remember. It's been a while. Uh, which, you know, not my intention, but life happens. Ooh. What? Who? Ball toy. Oh, okay. Cool. Apparently ball toy can be purified now. That's good. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. First, uh, I need to... Oh, I don't have any per paralyzed heals. I don't have any... Nope. Hmm. Yeah, well, I guess we'll use the full heal. <laughs> Poor Hound Hour. She's got a problem. All right, uh, we're gonna use a potion on her real quick. There we go. Thank you, thank you for that. I appreciate it. All right, uh, let's see. I don't remember which direction we were going. I'm gonna say we were going down, because uh, I don't remember any. Where the heck I'm going? What am I doing? Okay, we already got whatever that is. I vaguely remember this area. Were we supposed to go up there? Were we supposed to go up further? Well, let's try going up further. Maybe that's the issue. See, this is the problem with saving anywhere. Is that I never remember what the heck I'm doing. Okay, this is a... Okay, so there's an item over there, so we haven't been over here yet. Oh! Yep, we definitely haven't been here yet. Little boy, what are you up to? You shouldn't get into mischief when you're visiting someone else's place. Huh. Yay! <laughs> it's appreciated. I do my best. Jigglypuff! Chimeco. Interesting combo. We should be fine. Uh, let's see. Do we actually... We do not. I was about to say, do we have a dark type move? We don't. But this should still do plenty of damage. Uh, oh! Spinarak does have a... Actually, we'll do that. Hold on. Shadow Blitz on Jigglypuff and then Signal Beam the Chimeco. I think that's correct. You know, for some reason my brain always wanted to say that Chimeco was steel because it's like a little chime thing, but it's not. It's like one of those little hanging glass and um Ooh. Oh. Well, good luck. I hope you don't get uh, attacked out at sea and boarded and all your stuff stolen. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh! Oh! I had no idea. Well, then you won't have that problem. At least not with any actual players. We're gonna call the Hound Hour, and then we're gonna signal beam again. There we go. Came to her senses. Oh! Ah! No! Oh! the spinner rack heck okay um well she is our lowest level so i guess that makes sense beach ball over here at 20 my goodness uh celeste help i didn't expect to faint there does it make sense it's it's part um part poison and i don't think psychic resists psychic so, oops. Uh, 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 we can get a return off. 
Let's do some damage. Ah. It's kind of like creative mode in, in Minecraft, right? Where there's like nothing to fight and you're just kind of hanging out at sea and enjoying life. That's one of those games that if I had a boat, it would be full of cats. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we go. Dunsparce. Hound hour, she's not looking good. Oh dear. Unfortunately, I'm not really a pirate person. I think the only pirate game I actually played that I enjoyed any amount of was Skies of Arcadia. And that's more fantasy than it is pirates. It's more sky pirates than regular pirates. Uh, hey, here we go. Fire! Whoosh. Oh, we can uh, purify her too. Good stuff. Where? Paralyzed. No! Oh, dang it. Okay, that makes it troublesome. Oh. Oh, I see. I feel like a bit of sneeze. <coughs> oh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, didn't someone raise you properly? Didn't someone raise you properly? How could you come in and take make a mess of the place? Yeah, you're bad guys. I have to come in and make a mess of the place. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. Hound hour can I be we need to go back and heal anyway, since our poor spider is gone. Snuffed out in the prime of her life. So, let's uh get out of here and see if we can fix that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a healing machine down on the bottom floor here. I just gotta find it, and then we can go and purify the other two. Here we go. Assuming we go this way. Nope, that's a dead end. Nah. One of these. It's one of these. I don't remember which one. I'm gonna say this one. Oh, that sounds cute. Okay, so we do have to go down the stairs. I was trying to rack my memory with like, how do I get in and out of this place? It's a maze. I'm not good at mazes. Directions are not my strong suit. Unless I have a mini map, which this game does not give you. They're like, mini map? You don't need that. And I'm like, I, I actually really do. Uh, nope, I think we need to go down again. This one. That's cute like in uh in terraria there are little slime npcs that you can get that you can pet they're neat boop, boop, boop. Bum, bum, ba, ba, bum. there we go there we go everybody's healed and these two can be terrified we're gonna go do that <laughs> oh yeah these goofballs are still out here Love it. Alright, uh... Nope. There we go. That's the one. Da -da -da -da. Oh yeah, did they... I don't remember if they got them, because they said they were going to make the purifying machine do from the computer? I don't remember if they did that. I'm going to check. Okay, thank you. appreciate it. I'll take a look at it after the stream. Okay, so it's not in here yet. Okay, they haven't made the thing yet. It would be in the PC if they had made it. Oh no. Must stay liquid. <sighs> Let's see. first. Uh, 
dun, 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 dun. All right. <laughs> That's funny. Did we get bite? Faint attack. That's just as good. Actually, better. Always hits. Charm. Mm, okay. I mean, that could be useful. 18. Got the ribbon. Yes. I was already given a very good name for her last time. We're gonna name her... Chili. I think that's how you spell chili. Is it one L or two? It's two, right? The word chili is two. I'm pretty sure it's two. Anyway, we're naming her after Bluey's mom. It also fits because she's a fire type, so I like it. We're, you're naming her Chili. Yes. That'll do. Okay. Sometimes I just don't remember. Like, I feel like that's correct, but sometimes I can never tell. Ball toy's turn. <laughs> I have to do that with words sometimes, too. I have a really hard time with certain words like thief. Like, where do I put the I? Is it before the E or after the E? I, I, I think it's before the E, but I have such a hard time remembering that one. Ooh, rock tomb. That's good. Refresh. I think it's a little bit useful. I mean, you're never going to get paralyzed, but... Wait, if you're never going to get paralyzed, what would you use refresh for? Poison, really? That would be it. Because you couldn't use it if you're frozen, and you can't use it if you're asleep. So you'd literally only be using it for poison. Huh. Alright, now what do I name you? It's like a clay, made out of clay. It's a little toy made out of clay. Mm. I know. I think I know. I just have to remember how to spell this word. Give me a minute. Yeah, that's how you spell that. Nope. Porcelain. There we go. I think that's how that's spelled. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That is how that's spelled. <laughs> Another one I had to check. I'm pretty good at were and where, thankfully, but that's because I've like drilled it into my head. But there's other words that I'm just like, I have no idea. I don't remember. Okay, uh, so we can't... We can't purify the spider yet, but that's okay. Everybody else is purified, so we're good. I am going to put Watt back up front. I think. That way he can get some more levels and stuff. Because he's our starter Pokemon. I don't I don't want him to be a lower, one of the lower level ones on our team, you know? That's our boy. Our spiky boy. Alright, we go this way. We go back to the lab. Which I feel like we've spent an eternity in, but that's mostly just because I'm going in, going out, going in, going out. It's just problematic. <sighs> Alright. In we go. Let's see if I can get back down, or at least remember how to. You know, I probably should have bought some Paralyzed Heels, but I totally forgot. Oops. <laughs> All right, I can vaguely remember how to get back from here. Very vaguely. Go down here. We go up the stairs. 
Yup. Out here. Go on this thing. Let me go over this way down. Over here and then on this one. <sighs> and then we should be back where we started. Before. Because we fought that other person here. Ooh, item. Gimme. What is it? Oh, that'll come in handy if someone gets paralyzed again. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo. Alright. Mm, that way or this way? We'll go this way. Oh, that's a dead end. We can't go that way. Okay, fair enough. Hello. Phew, I never thought that Cypher's big man would deign to show up here in person. I saw him in... Oh, I smacked my mic. I saw him in real flesh and blood, and he's menacing. The sight of him gave me shivers. Master Grievel supposed, supposedly making a personal tour of Cypher's facilities. I think he wants to confirm that everything is fine so he can proceed with his plans without ending up... Without ending up with a fiasco like last time. Huh? Who are you? A suspicious intruder! Hi, I'm a suspicious intruder. How are you? How long have you been there? You might be just a kid, but we can't let you walk out. I wasn't gonna... I was gonna keep going and just, you know, wreck house. Eh. Hey, Cleon. You know, I want to have Fenerak out, but I feel like it's going to have a hard time. So we're going to switch it out. Celeste, we should do. Maybe. I itchy. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Zap it. Ooh, that barely did anything. Oh, but you're paralyzed now. <laughs> you turned to electric type. Gary face. He dropped. We're gonna return on that thing. Dap. That did way more damage than I. That's what I wanted. That's the kind of um, charm. Please don't be on Teddy Ursa. Okay, it's on Watt. He's gonna use special attacks. It doesn't matter. Whack! Now you're a normal type. And you're paralyzed. Can't move. <laughs> We take out the snubble. It's not faster than Celeste. So she should be able to. Oh! Shroomish! Is it a. I can have a balloon! Oh my gosh, I want that so bad! Ah! Okay. Shroomish, shroomish, shroomish. It's almost as it's almost as good as the Ludicolo. Not quite, but it's still very good. Oh my goodness. Thunderwave? Uh Lick? We'll do Lick. Lick doesn't do a lot. Should be fine. Yes, be paralyzed. I must catch the mushroom. Ow! Rude! Eee. That hurts. It's a boy mushroom. Mm. Tackle? Lick. Eee. Tackle shouldn't do a lot. Especially because he was charmed. Oh, that did nothing. Well, I was hoping it would do a little more than nothing. Whoops.
Wow, we are doing nothing to this thing. All right. Ouch. Okay, uh... Hmm... You should resist a Thundershock. We want to move Celeste out because I don't want her to die. So... Venerac? Should resist... The Shadow moves. Okay, it's a little better. No blitz. Yeah, not very effective. That's my spider. We want this mushroom. We're gonna throw a ball. Pokeball. Yes. Give me mushroom. Give me. Got him. We got a mushroom. Shroomish. Yes. We have succeeded in the mission. Are you really a kid? Yes. No. Actually, no, we're not. <laughs> in the game, yes. In real life, no. I am an adult feline. Thank you. Did you maybe come to rescue Crane? That's exactly why we're here. I forgot about that. <laughs> don't bother trying. You don't know how scary Love Rena, she's in charge here, can be. That was a weird way to put that. She looks cute and all, but she's got she's nothing short of terrifying. Get out of here while you still can. It's for your own good. No. I ain't scared of her. So, hmm, hmm. I want to get the mushroom, but I don't know who to put away. Hmm. This is difficult. We just got spider. I do like the spider. But I feel like I like the mushroom more. So I think we're going to go with that. I got to go get him, though. Where is he? He's going to be down back at the PC. Which means we have to walk all the way back again. Ugh. Frustrating. They're like, hey, every time you want to heal your Pokemon or get out of Pokemon, you gotta walk all the way back. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay. It's okay. It's fine. I just have to remember how to get back again. This should be fine. I should certainly remember how to get back again. I did it again. I did it already the first time. Mm -mm. Probably. Pokemon storage. If me. Oh yeah. There we go. We get a Meep. I love Meep. We have a lot of good mods in the box. Meep. Puchienna. Numel, Spurtus, Charcoal. Hi, um, how do I take that from you? I want that. Hold on, we're gonna... I'm gonna do something real quick. That item you have. Give me. Thank you! Now. Yeah, it's cute. Oh. We do love Mareeps here. Alright, now we get the mushroom. Grumpy mushroom. I'm sorry, Spinarak. You were good while you had while we had you. Alright. Uh, do we need to heal anybody? Yes. Yes, we do. 
Okay. <laughs> Yeah. No, I get you, bud. Alright. Uh... Let's get us back down to where we need to go. Over here. Probably. Yes. And up. We're almost there. We've got a pretty good looking team right now. Very good coverage. I think the only thing we don't have is a, a flying type. But if we're dealing with grass, we have, or bugs, we have chili. So it's not like we need a flying type. For fighting, we have porcelain, who's the psychic type. So we should be good either way. We shouldn't need a flying type. But if we got pretty decent coverage. And if we run into a dragon, we have our beach ball. I mean, look at her. She's level 20. Ridiculous. <laughs> uh, nope. This way. We go up. There's a heal machine in there. How do I get to there? I can't. Oh, that's frustrating. Great ball. Yoink. Oh, you left a thing on the table. I want it. What is this? ID card. Ooh. Hello. I, 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 I'm only a researcher here. I don't battle. Okay. What is this thing? Nothing, apparently. Hmm? Oh. But that's... Okay. Use the ID. Oh. Were we just, like, right next to a... Shortcut the whole time and I went back the whole way for nothing. Well, that's annoying. I didn't know it was a shortcut. How am I supposed to know? Hello. You understand, don't you? It's wrong to turn Pokemon into Shadow Pokemon against their will. Naps. Please, won't you help us stop this Shadow Pokemon plan? Join us and help us save the Pokemon. Professor Crane, I understand what you're trying to say, but I can't help you. Hello. Whoa. You... Aren't you that kid we saw back at the lab? Tabby? Is that really you, Tabby? Hi! Are you trying to tell me you came here all by your lonesome to rescue Professor Cr I sure did. That's too bad. I'm still a member of Cypher. I can't very well let you folks go now, can I? As for you, you snagged my teddy or so- Oh! I have your bear. She likes me a lot. <laughs> I'll give you this. You've got some guts to come here alone, but I'll fix you good and you'll never get out again. He just... is he threatening to kill me? I'm almost tempted to turn his bear on him. Murkrow? Rhyhorn. <laughs> right? Gonna be unbearable. Undershock on the Murkrow, and Shadow Blitz the Rhyhorn. We should be able to take this Murkrow down in one shot. What? Oh! <gasps> we got Lightning Rod! I forgot they have that! Ooh! Okay! I see what they're doing. Funs are fun. Correct. Alright, we need to take out the Rhyhorn first. Um... Rubbish, no! Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna bite the heck out of that Rhyhorn. And I'm gonna bring in the beach ball. It is her time. Beach ball. Beach ball. Neither of these Pokemon are a threat to her. 
That's my girl. Look at her. Precious beach ball. Oh! Wow. I know. She's so cute. She does her little tappy, tappy fins. Right on. Oh. Yeah, she's fine. She got it. And she rolled. So good. Okay, we're gonna take out that Rhyhorn and then we're gonna have her Aurora Beam the Murkrow. This should do. Yeah! I do like Rhyhorn. I'm not as big a fan of Rhydon, but I do like Rhyhorn. I don't really like Rhyperior either. Slack off. Okay. Pursuit. Ooh, that did more than I thought it would. Roar beam time. <gasps> Rainbow. And one shot. Destroyed him. That's our girl. Ooh, hot level 18. Battled him. Okay, um, we need to bite the Beldum. And I guess we could body slam the slack off. Probably. Bite the Beldum. Yomp. Well, did half. Ah, flinched. Now body slam. I wonder if that'll paralyze it. Nope. Dang. He just really didn't want to raise his hand there. He was like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> right, we bite and uh, let's go for Aurora Beam. I think it's the strongest stab move she has. I think it's stronger than Water Gun at least. Yum. Goodbye, Beldum. I'm sure they do. <laughs> I think Mewtwo's a bit much to have as an emotional support Pokemon, or just as a service Pokemon in general. I mean, like, he'd do well at it, but I think that's a bit extreme. I feel like uh, Growlithe and Arcanine would make really good uh, service Pokemon. Very loyal, very good dog. Also, Chansey and Blissey, fantastic for service Pokemon. I mean, come on. They give you an egg and it makes you happy. Unless you don't like eggs, then that would be a problem. Hmm. You just, you're not allowed to use your Pokemon for school. Come on now, that's cheating. Mm, Professor Crane, you folks don't have the foggiest notion about how big and scary Cypher is. It's not smart to resist. You can go on and talk about, you can go on and on about poor abused Pokemon and all, but you should think about your own selves. That's my advice. Wow. <laughs> Stress ball. True. Gabby, did you really come here by yourself? That's amazing. But it's dangerous here. We better get out with, with the item. My worst fears turned out to be true about Cypher. They weren't wiped out. This is just one of their bases. But the details can wait. Things could get complicated if they return. Let's get out of here. But, but the item... Oh, okay, cool, cool. He's just joining our party. He's just gonna follow us. I want this. Whatever this is. Ooh! Leafstone. I don't think we have anything that uses that. No, because I think our mushroom evolves at an actual... That's interesting. I don't remember us actually getting stones before, but I, I mean, if we get like a gloom or a weeping bell... What else evolves with a leafstone? 
anything else that evolves with a leaf stone that I can't remember right now. You know. Arceus is not a dog, and you know it. That's just silly. Alright, um... We go up. Oh, I need to check and see if we're... Well... Watt is not well. Beach ball is not well. Okay. We need heal. Potions, please. Well, it's like uh, the comics of... Uh, I forget what his name is. Uh, the, there's the three teams for Pokemon Go. Like Team Valor, Team Mystic, and Team... I don't remember the electric one, but that's the one I'm thinking of. Where, like, he said he had a Fero, and he sent out the Fero, and it was not a Fero. It was actually Zapdos. He's been calling it a Fero this whole time because he had no idea. Oh, hey. Hey, you. You sneak Crane out? I sure did. I snuck the damn out. Lavrina, this child here, he's the intruder. Oh, you snitch. Hello, I'm the intruder. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. So, I have... S I so have not heard about anyone leaving anywhere. Professor Crane is going to be so very, very busy. So, please be a nice boy and don't disturb us. Yahoo! Hello! Welcome! We're going back to the H headquarters lab. Stand aside, please. Going back? Seriously? You are so joking. This so happens to be where you work from now on? After all, uh, we so need you to keep working on your studies. You are so the key to our plan. Woof. Yes, I've been having fun. Uh... XD001, the ultimate shadow Pokemon that can never ever be purified. Stop that nonsense. You you seriously think I would help you with something that horrible? Oh, that naps. He so must have made a boo-boo again. I so have to punish him lots. Little boy, maybe you can convince Professor Crane. You should tell him to study our XD001. You see, our plan is to make shadow Pokemon that can never ever be purified. XD001 is only our first prototype. So, when we can work out the problems, we can make combat units with XD series Pokemon. Wouldn't that be peachy? No. No. Coliseum is very good. They're both good games. But we so need pro the professor's cooperation for our plan. So please, sweetie, can you ask him nicely to help? No. Oh, how nasty. You silly boy. You so won't help me with XD001 either? No. Why would I? Oh, you'll be sorry now, but you will so understand. A little hurt can be so persuasive. I'm not afraid of you, woman. I do not fear your love disc or your beautifly. All right, boys. Let's get her. <laughs> Pick out that beautifully first. That thing is going to be a problem. If we let it. <sighs> Almost one shot it. Water gun. All right. That'll be fine. Nobody's going to be hurt by that. That's. Ooh. Okay, crit. All right. I stand corrected, but it was a crit. Gus. Oh, that's going to hurt Shroomish. No. Ooh. Hang in there, buddy. This is why I wanted to get rid of this thing quick. Come on. There we go. It's down. Goodbye, beautifly. Whew. Roselia. It's very cute. Uh oh. That's not good. Okay. Um. Hmm. Got a call. Kermish, I need you to wake up, bud. That's my boy. Come to your senses. Alright, what? 
take them out. Woo! The love disc survived. That's surprising. Damn. Rude. Pen missile. Uh oh. No, no, no. No! My mushroom! Oh, it only hit two times. We're okay. We're okay. Okay. What we're gonna do? We're gonna switch to chili. Chili! Help! <laughs> That was close. A little too close. If it had hit any more than two times, our mushroom would not have been okay. There we go. Down with the love disc. Oh, it looks so sad when it faints. Alright. Oh, Delicate! Here! Meow! Oh! It's down with the Pokemon! Yes! 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 Cat, 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 cat. I've been seated. What? How dare you? Oh my. Okay, um. Thunder wave? We're gonna ember the Roselia. Must acquire the cat. <laughs> yes. I love Del Caddy. I know that a lot of people are like, oh, it's not that good of a Pokemon, but I love it. It's cute. Oh, and it just killed Watt. No. Oh boy. Ah. Okay, um. What do we do about this? Celeste, I guess. Bear versus cat. <laughs> oh, not more leech seeds. Come on now. Come on, Chili. Give it a good old fire. Oh, I forgot to give her the charcoal. I took it off and then I didn't give it to her, did I? Dang it! Ooh, I have to remember to do that. Ooh! Okay. Hit it with a return. Roselia gets embered. Pin missile, that might actually hurt. I think we're neutral on that. Ah, neutral damage. We're okay, we're okay. It's okay. Ooh. Four times. Come on, Chili. Ah, uh, yes! Yes! Fantastic, Chili. Thank you! That's our girl. Ooh! Celeste is up to level 19. Or 18. She's got to level 18. Excuse me. Get rid of her turn. Nice. Not a rush. Ow! Oh my gosh! Chili! Heck. That cat is rinsing through us. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, we're fine. We got this. I can mud slap, get it to miss. Accuracy drop. Hit it with another return. Nice. Now we can start chucking balls at it. Yes, I missed. Perfect. All right. We're going to throw a great ball. I have Pokeballs, but I want to try a great ball. And if that doesn't work, we hit it with another mud slap. Ooh, it's paralyzed and in the yellow. We'll see. Wiggle. 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 Yes! Got it! We did it! We got the cat! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Get wrecked! What on earth? How could you be str How can you be strong? Yeah, well... Del Caddy, I want the cat. Oh, I so hate to say this. Little boy, I can't beat you right now. No, you can't. Master Greville will be so cross with me, but... But that's okay. I'll let you owe me this one time, but you have to promise me you'll think about my plan next time. Uh, I'll think about it, but the answer is still going to be no. You see, if you see XD001, I'm sure you will want to help me, so I'll be waiting for you. 
Ma'am, I've already seen what it looks like. That's good. I'm good. Well, love Rena. Oh, he dropped something. I want that, whatever that is. Tabby, you have grown tough, haven't you? In fact, I'm amazed at how much stronger you've grown in such a short time. But I guess we'll be relying on you even more from now on. Now that we know Cypher is back, we need to move quickly. We have to come up with ways of stopping them. This time, let's really head back to HQ Lab. Yeah. What's this? I want it. Data ROM. I don't know what that does. Here, may I see that? Yeah. Tabby handed the data ROM to Professor Queen. Hmm. This may be something important. We'll take it back and analyze it. Yes, yeah, sir. But first, I forgot. I want to give Chili the charcoal. She's fainted right now. I'm so sorry, Chili. Oh. Well, this is getting out. We go this way. Hopefully we can heal. Oh, it just brought us back to the lab automatically. That's fine. Thanks to you, Tabby, I was able to return safe and sound. Sincerely, thank you. Though it was a horrible ordeal, I learned a few things when I was in that des desert lab. First and foremost, Cypher hasn't disappeared. Duh! In fact, they're still around. The fact that they're still around is alarming. Worse, they're making more shadow Pokemon. E Dude, you're just telling me stuff I already know. And worst of all, they're trying to get- yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Cypher must be plotting world domination using shadow Pokemon as their weapons again. To counter Cypher's new shadow Pokemon conspiracy. Hello? Doctor- or Director! Lily! We did it! The purifying chamber is finally complete! Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? Oh my! Oh, uh, what a fantastic timing. It's finally finished. Lily, thank you. Thank you for pulling everyone together so capably in my absence. Okay, let's not waste any time. Let's give a look at the purifying chamber. Yeah, let's. I don't think I have any Pokemon that need to be purified right now, though. <laughs> mm. Now I just have my Shroomish who is not ready yet. But okay. We'll go look at it. Hello. Take a good look at it, Tabby. This is the Purify Chamber. Tabby, your father and I designed it five years ago when we were motivated by the Shadow Pokemon incident. If evildoers were to create Shadow Pokemon again, we wanted to be able to save them ourselves. Tabby, your father believed that passionately. To honor his your father's wishes. Oh, our dad dead. Oh, heck. I put together Pokemon HQ Lab. Tabby, if your father were here, I'm sure he would be delighted. Oh, that's sad. No wonder our mom is a wreck. While I was gone, everyone seems to have rallied around Lily and made things happen. Okay, Tabby, we'll have you lead the way. The glorious history of the Purified Chamber will begin with you. But first, if you would be so kind as to briefly explain how Purified Chamber works. Oh, oh. I was like, what? what? I, how would I know? <laughs> Certainly. Okay, Tabby, listen closely. I'm listening. The Purify Chamber is a facility in which shadow Pokemon undergo purification through contact with regular Pokemon. Purification is conducted on what we call a set. Okay. In the center, a set Pokemon, one shadow Pokemon is placed. Up to four regular Pokemon can be placed around them. Okay. We have nine of those sets here. It means you can efficiently purify up to nine shadow Pokemon at the same time. Ooh. There is one thing you need to be careful about. Purification won't proceed if you place only a single shadow Pokemon on a set. Purification only if there is one regular set with one shadow Pokemon. Okay. Number of regular Pokemon placed with shadow Pokemon compatible. Okay. First number Pokemon. <laughs> uh -huh. The more regular Pokemon you place, the quicker purification. Okay. Next, compatibility. Compatibility depends on the type of Pokemon involved and the directions they face. By adjusting these factors, you'll see difference in purification speeds. If you need the details, I'll be happy to explain it later. But right now, I'd like you to check the sets out. Okay. The Purify Chamber status is on standby. System status is good to go. 
step onto the circular plate, a holographic image of the Pokemon involved in purification will appear. Well, if it would, it would if you were to actually. There were actually some Pokemon on the sets. Oh, when you're checking the hologram, you can zoom to individual sets, and at any set you can configure settings. Okay, okay. Gosh, this is a lot of information. The control panel will appear. You pick the Pokemon you want from the set. Blah 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 blah. If you bring the Pokemon Tabby, place them on the set, figure out. We can also provide advice to hologram. Okay. Okay. How do I... Okay, there we go. Set. Edit. DC party Pokemon. Okay. So... We'll put our Spinarak in there, I guess. Set one. In the center. Place. Yes. And then we want to put Brutus. There. There we go. No. There we go. So Brutus should be helping purify our, our spider now. There we go. How did you find the purify chamber? Using this system, it's possible to purify many shadow Pokemon at the same time. Oh, you can also access the purify chamber from any PC. Be sure to try that feature. Now, the issue on how shadow Pokemon should be recovered from Cypher. It looks as if you'll have to get busy some more with the snag machine. Yes. That's it? Okay. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna come over here and... Pokemon storage. I'm gonna get my cat. <laughs> I'm sorry, Celeste. But hey, we can... Do this now. We have Celeste help. Hey, there we go. Flow and tempo are up. Good. There, just like that. We have my cat. Uh, I think porcelain's gonna have to be leveled up too. These are these are the team as it stands for now. Let's see. So where am I going? Oh, you can also access the purified music. Yeah? Okay, but where? How? What? Hi, Mom. The director came back safely and the purify chamber was complete. We can finally slow down and catch our breath. Oh, wow. She just says it. After your father passed away, Professor Crane and I carried on with his studies. If he were here to see this, I'm sure your father would be happy and proud. Wow. They just come out and say... Oh, speaking of Cypher. Lily, have you made any progress on the data, Rom, that we brought back from Cypher's lab? Oh, yes. I've asked Dayton to analyze the constants of that data ROM. It should be ready soon. Tabby, could you go upstairs and ask Dayton how he's doing? Dayton is the man in the room next to the director's office, remember? He was compiling basic data. Okay. Big Brother's tired, so Jovi will go. No. Oh, Jovi, it's okay. This is for work. It. She's already gone, Mom. You can't stop her. <laughs> Seeing Jovi and her boundless energy makes me realize I'm back home. There's something. Anyway, I wonder what's on the data ROM. Oh, Jovi, there's no stopping you. Please, Tabby, go and ask Dayton how he's doing in his office upstairs. Yes, ma'am. We go. Our little sister's probably up there harassing the heck out of him. I think he's in this door right here. He, oh, he's not here. Oh, isn't Dayton the man who's always fooling around with his computer here? This is strange. Toby wonders where he went. I, I don't know. Well, let's go investigate. 
I mean, do you know where Dayton is? What? What's that? Where's Dayton? Let me think. Oh, he went downstairs earlier. He had a look of consternation on his face. What the heck does consternation mean? So many big words in these games they keep using, and I'm like, I, I am pretty good with big words usually, but some of them in here they use, I have no idea what they're talking about. If Cypher kidnapped Professor Crane, they also attacked that missing cargo ship? Yeah, they did. sure did. Yep, that was them. Okay. I guess we go downstairs. They said he went downstairs. Excuse me. I formed a combo with this baby here. Baby? That is not a baby. That's a Curlia. Evolve quickly, huh? I'm watching you, ma'am. Oh, you're looking for Dayton? I saw someone go outside earlier. Maybe that was Dayton. Oh my gosh. I get the feeling he is literally going to talk to our mom. Hello, have you seen Dayton? I saw Dayton trudging outside the lab with the forlorn expression on his face. Is there something the matter? Outside the lab. Uh oh, are you Dayton? I knew it. Their hideout was in the southeast. So they were using that abandoned lab on the sly, were they? It's wickedly clever of them. You're not Dayton. Oh, Tabby, I heard, I heard. They've done amazing things growing up. Shame, kidnapping, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so maybe he went outside, outside? Like... Out here somewhere? Yeah, there's an item over there we already got. There he is. Hello. Excuse me, sir. Ah, I'm sorry, Professor. I couldn't decipher it. Huh? Oh, oh, it's you, Tabby. That data ROM is heavily protected. It's like a bank vault. It would take a seriously talented guy to break through and get the contents. A seriously talented guy, you say. Oh. Blah, Professor, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> it can't be helped. And if it's a seriously talented guy we need, well, I think I may have a solution. Who would that person be? Tabby, I'm sorry to spring this on you. Could you deliver this data ROM to ONBS, O-N-B-S, in Pyrite Town? Dayton had the data ROM to... Handed to data room. Okay. Oh, right away. I got it. ONBS is known as a TV network, but they're much more than that. The people that later founded ONBS were instrumental in breaking Cypher's conspiracy five years ago. Please deliver. Oh, is this those kids? Please deliver that data ROM to the to Net. Net. I remember Net. He's the right hand man to Sec ONBS leader. Yeah. I'm confident that he will be able to get the contents of that data ROM. Yes! These are the kids that we helped in Pokemon Coliseum. All right. Let's go. Ba -bum, ba -bum, bum. Back to Pyrite Town. I wonder if it's still a shithole. We'll find out. Oh yeah! Hasn't changed well, except for that building. That's new. <laughs> Everything else is still a shithole. <laughs> Marcia, wait, wait for me. What? There she goes. <gasps> <gasps> Marcia, wait, wait for me. Goodbye. Hey, you're that guy. There goes Marcia tearing off like a tornado as usual. There goes one busy girl. Huh? What's up with you, kid? Why are you giving me the eye like that? You know who I am? I'm Kale. Yeah, I remember Kale. You called me the gatekeeper pyrite. <laughs> that smoldering look says you're raring to challenge me. If it's a battle you want, I'm here. Yeah. Fight Kale. <laughs> All right, then. I'll show you what being Kale, the gatekeeper of Pyrite, is all about. I remember you. Rogue Kale would like to battle. 
Ralts and Snubble. Shadow Rush. The Ralts. Ooh, we got a Mega Drain. Let's use that on the Snowball. Whack! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Destroyed him, dude. Mega Drain. Nom nom nom. Didn't do much, but that's okay. Okay, uh... Yeah. Mmm, yeah. Have to be careful with C-Dots, they like to bide. That thing surprisingly didn't die from that. I guess he had more defense than I thought. Okay, bullet seed. Ouch. Barely did anything, though. Hit four times, did one damage each time. Disappointing. Alright, do that, and then we'll do one of these. She should be able to take out the snubble. Yep. He. He, she. Wait, where's my dog caddy? Male or female? Like. Ooh, Hound Hour. And there goes the C dot. Male. Male dog, howdy. Okay. He's a good kitty. Now we double team that Hound Hour. Goodbye. Cat versus dog. The cat won. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. Hey, kid. I have to hand it to you. You have to be good to beat Kale, Pyrite's gatekeeper. All right. Fortune telling. Have you heard? Wild Pokemon have appeared. A teen who's been, who's considered Pyrite's mother, foretold the appearance of Pokemon in the wild. Well, it came true. It's incredible. Well, now, we'll now be able to catch wild Pokemon right here in, in the Ori region. Interesting. It's strange that you couldn't before. Hello, sir. I saw Marcia running off. She's always bursting with energy, that one. That impatient energy of Marcia's. She gets... <gasps> That's the little girl we saved! Her dad gave us the plusle. Yes, it from her father, Duking. <laughs> I remember her now. I was like, who's Marcia? I don't remember. That's the girl we saved in the last game. This is Pyrite Town. Famous home for the ONBS. You came here to take a tour of ONBS too, didn't you? I can tell. We get visitors from all over. ONBS is the building... Building stands next to the big windmill. You can't miss it. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, hello. I am Charles, the chief of Pyrite pa Police. Are you a traveling trainer? The town has become peaceful, but there are still plenty of roughnecks around. They know how to keep us busy, what with their brawling and so on. Lots of them will go out of their way to pick a fight with you. Be careful when you're out on the streets. Yes, sir. Hello. Darn it, I got locked up over a dumb street fight if I don't get out of here soon. Huh? Kid, are you... That thing on your arm, it can't be. Uh, uh, it, it's nothing. Get lost already. He's one of the team snagum guys. I recognize his uniform. Hello. Ow, wow, wow. I got lumps on my head from some shiny-headed guy thumped me, thumping me. I won't deny I lipped off to him at first, but he took a swing at me first. You've got to get, let me get out of here. Nope. Oh, item. 
Yoink. It, it, gimme. Ah, hyper potion. That'll be saved for a rainy day. All right. Chalk? Nope, just a building. Hello. I've never seen a wild Pokemon before. I can't wait to get my eyes on one. You get a Pokeball, you can get it. Dookie's the leader of Pyrite. He also operates the Colosseum here. But lately, I hear he's letting his right-hand man, Silva, run things. Silva! We saved him last time. After all, Dookie submitted to his quest of finding wild Pokemon. We're expecting big things from him, too. But Dookie's not here, but Silva is. What? <gasps> it's those goons! I remember them. They're the ones who kidnapped uh, 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 Rui, our, our companion girl in the first game. All right, then. What do we have here? If it isn't Trudley and Folly, what do you think you're up to? What, what are we up to? You've got it all wrong. We're just here doing some shopping, that's all. Now don't you lie to me. I know about the likes of you. You're up to no good, aren't you? Cut us some slack, Officer Johnson, sir. We've had a change of heart. We swore off our criminal ways. <laughs> I knew them immediately. No, no, no. That doesn't wash with me. No, sir, it doesn't. I won't have you lot walking around the streets as if you own the place. Pomp is so folly. The man won't listen to reason. Let's get out of here. He ran. <laughs> Hello. Those two that just ran off, they're named Folly and Trudley. They once belonged to Cypher, but just as mere grunts. Back in those days, they wreaked havoc as if they owned the place. But I got I caught up with them and put them straight. I cut quite a dashing figure, didn't I? It's my job to uphold the piece of pyrite. Pow! <laughs> Alright, Johnson. You're getting in over your head, buddy. What should I buy today? I'd like to buy some accuracy, but I don't have the money. Mm. What you got? Hello. Oh, Mart. I want none of what you have. That's unfortunate. Well, two of those. Two of those, I guess. I don't want to spend too much money on healing items if I can help it, because we're going to need a lot of money for Pokeballs this time around. There's no uh, Pokeball glitch like there was in Colosseum in this one. They fixed it. <laughs> Oh yeah, the trainer square. We're gonna be doing a lot of battling here. Hello. This is the dual square, where the weak, frail, and strong prevail. Oh, where the weak fail and the strong prevail. Don't be rattled if someone suddenly challenges you to a battle. Like you're doing? Okay. Finol. Finol? Okay. Shop it and lady All right. I don't think either of these are a good matchup for Shroomish. Uh, oh, we got a tract. That's interesting. Uh, well, at the very least, get rid of the Lady Ba. Oh, Sunspore. And the Shepet will hit with a Shadow Rush as well. Wham! Hey! One shot. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Remoraid. Strange one. Knock off. I don't dislike Remoraid. I just feel like it's kind of wasted potential. They had to change its design at all. I understand why they changed its design, but I just feel like... Eh, yeah, people are too sensitive. If you don't know, it used to be a, a gunfish, and then it turned into a tank octopus with octillery. But, uh... People didn't like that, so they had to redo it. There are plenty of other Pokémon that are based off objects. 
But I guess having one that was looked like a gun was not okay. Oh, I should have had a Mega Drain, the Remoraid. I don't know why I didn't. We'll do that. We'll beat up that Togepi and have a Mega Drain, the Remoraid. My disappointment is the Togepi only really becomes good <clears throat> in the fourth generation of games when you can evolve it into Togekiss. Otherwise, it's subpar. Which is sad for a Pokemon that was so prevalent in the anime and was so hyped up as far as it being like the first... One of the very first uh, Gen 2 Pokemon revealed. Not the first, I don't think. I think that was... No, it might have been actually the first Gen 2 Pokemon. Because we got that. And then we got Meryl and Snubble and Dawnfan in the movie. Eh, it's whatever. Better rush again. Wow. Nice. Oh, we turned around and ran. Now I feel a little guilty. It is just a baby. It's a baby. I feel like crying. Eh, well, that's what happens when you fight me. If you get the urge to battle, come for a visit. We're always waiting. Basically, they're like, hey, if you need to train, you can come here to do it. Use a potion on that caddy. There we go. Hello, sir. Would you like to fight? Doesn't matter to me who my opponents are. Even little kids. I'll battle with all my might. Well, that's good. That's actually a good uh, mindset to have. It's like, if you're fighting, if you're doing a battle with somebody, you don't want them to go easy on you. That kind of... <clears throat> kind of spits on all your hard work and effort, you know? Alright. Um... We get rid of the Slugma first. Oh, actually, this is... Uh, we're gonna need to recall Shroomish. This is not a good battle for him. Uh... Beach Ball would do good here. Flying and Fire. She can handle that. Yeah. Beach Ball! Oh, the baby. She's so cute and round. Love spherical Pokemon. body. Uh-oh. Well, that cuts our attack power down significantly. Rude. Oddish. Heck. I also like Natu. It's also round. I don't like Zatu as much. It's not as cute, but it's still okay. Alright, we're gonna get rid of that Oddish. I don't trust it. Ooh. Yeah, that definitely knocked down our attack power with that burn. Immobilized by love, haha. <laughs> Aurora Beam! Yes! Gotta love that super effective damage. Aurora Beam again. Do it again. I feel like that would have done a lot more if we weren't burned. Ah! Immobilized by love. You love the cat too much. He's too cool. Makes all the ladies swoon. <laughs> That's my son. Mm. I need to heal. Fop. Now, can the question is... Can we get to the heal- You. Who do you think you are? I'm not losing next time. Do you, do you think we- <coughs> Do you think we can get to the healing machine without a cutscene happening? I want to go over here into the Colosseum and heal my Pokemon. Okay. We seem to be good. They'll let us. It's a funny thing to me is that they're like, Oh, uh, if you use the hotel- in this town, it costs money to heal your Pokemon, but you could just come here and heal them for free at this machine. So they're kind of tricking you if you don't know that machine's right there. Alright. Oh, we should... Nah, we'll do it in a minute. 
how are our how are our Pokemon doing on there? Grimish is almost ready to uh be purified. Yeah, yeah. It's a trap for people who don't know. You know, a lot of people will just walk in and be like, What? I have to pay to heal? Uh. And I'm like, no, you don't. What? Oh, Spinarak! Ready for purification back at the lab. Nice! Alright, uh, hello. Fight? This is the dual square. We live by tradition here. There's no need for greetings. Just battle. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it's the same way in, uh, in XD as well. You don't have a lot of money. So you, especially you have to ration it for Pokeballs most of the time. Because you really need those to catch the shadow Pokemon. Uh, Zigzagoon Whismer. Should just double up on that Zigzagoon, I think. Oh, yeah, the snacks. And then this, uh, there's also the, uh, the oils that you can use to get your, uh, Pokemon's, uh, shadow bar. Like, the, it, it clo opens the door to their heart faster. If you give them a massage with the oils, and those cost money. So. Eh. You're really incentivized to save money in this game. Uh, we're gonna get rid of that Apom. I have vague memories of Apom not being a fun opponent. Whack! Aston hits hard. Ambipom is even worse, like, wolf Ambipom. They really took, uh, Apom and gave it a, a boat buff with Ambipom. Yeah, yeah, it takes a lot of time. <coughs> Especially if, um, you don't have your Pokemon leveled very much. Because you'll get to a certain point where you just can't grind on it anymore. Your Pokemon learn levels aren't high enough. Then you gotta go to the battle tower and work your way through that to level up your Pokemon so that you can do the Colosseum. Ugh. We're gonna rush you and blitz you. Yes. Yeah! Goodbye, Whisper. Dunsparce. And everybody was waiting for Dunsparce to have a really cool evolution, and it got the derpiest thing. I don't dislike it. I think Dun Dun Dunsparce is very funny, but I also think it's a little bit mean. <laughs> it's like, hey, that Pokemon that you wanted to have a really cool dragon evolution, it just has another segment now. Maybe two if you're really lucky. <laughs> it is very funny. I quite enjoy it. I just know a lot of people were kind of salty about it because they wanted him to be something cooler. <laughs> yeah, it is a pretty good Pokemon. I mean, most of the um, evolutions that they gave to prior Pokemon were pretty good. Like, uh, Ferrigarath was fantastic. I, I quite like that Girafferig got an evolution. It could be. I've heard rumor that there's supposed to be, like, another... Uh, Applin evolution or something like that. Uh, I think it was like that the the new Applin evolution is supposed to like evolve again or something. I don't know how that works. The sticky apple, the one that's a candy apple. But I don't know if that's true or not. I just heard it. It was a rumor. I do like the idea of a candy apple. But in my opinion, when I first saw that candy apple Pokemon, I thought it was just... Yeah, I know that's an evolution, but I heard that it was going to evolve again. But I don't know if that's true or not. Um, But the thing for me, right, is that when I saw that evolution... Again, like I said, this could just be people... There's people throwing out rumors for Pokemon all the time that aren't true. So don't just take my words with a grain of salt. But the thing is, is when I first saw that... Pokemon, I honestly thought that was another form of Applin. Because it didn't look like an evolution to me. And it still doesn't. So I guess I, in my brain, I'm just like... 
it doesn't look different enough from Applin. In my mind. Like... I really liked, um... Oh my gosh, I... Appleton. The pie one. I, I like the flying one too, uh... Clapple. I think they both look good. Uh... But they look significantly different from Applin. Whereas the the new the new candy apple one, it just looks like they stuck a stick at him. <laughs> uh, and that he's got his butt sticking out the back now. Uh oh wow, Bagon. Uh Bagon Swine Up. Okay, we need to get rid of the swine up first. Because that thing can hurt our mushroom. We don't want that. It's so cute though. I really like swine up. I like Pylos Swine too. Mammal Swine I don't really like so much, mostly just because it loses its cuteness. Because you can see its eyes now. They should have kept its eyes covered, like with the fur on Mammal Swine. I would have liked it then. And then they gave it like red rings around and... It's just not cute anymore. It's not a cute piggy. Made me say it. Murkrow. I really like Murkrow's evolution though. Hauntrow, fantastic. That's an evolution. Like, that's one of the ones that sometimes I forget that it wasn't originally... Like, it didn't originally evolve, you know? Because it's just so good. Uh, okay, we need to get rid of that Murkrow, though. Groomish, wake up, please. Thank you. Ooh, he is almost ready to be purified. Proud of him. He's going so far. Ooh! Yeah. Yeah, um, with the super luck, and then if you give it, uh, the crit boosting item was the scope lens, and then, uh, have it use, like, night slash, or, uh, what's the, uh, the air cutter is the one that's the flying type move that has high crit ratio? I don't remember. But, you know, you do, uh, night slash and that, and, I mean, you can basically guarantee a crit almost every single hit. It's wild. Uh, I had one of those in my Pokemon X version. I used a Haunch Crow there. Uh, yeah, we need to get rid of that. And we'll try to Mega Drain to get some health back. And I, I used it for most of the playthrough until I ended up... No, because uh, I, I got a, uh, a shiny Swablu. Full odds, shiny Swablu. Uh, in the wild, it was in a it was in a horde. I was just wandering in the grass and I found it in a horde. Uh, so I got a shiny Swablu in Pokemon X, and I was gonna, yeah, I know, right? The little yellow bird. I was so happy. I love Swablu. Um, and I was gonna switch her out for my Honchcrow, but it was so late in the game that I decided I just wanted to keep her as she was for a while. But what I ended up doing was right after I got her, uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out. So what I did was I switched her over to Alpha Sapphire and I used her there because she could Mega Evolve there. So I had the Mega Shiny Altaria and I named her Sunshine and she is, she is my child. She's on my Pokemon uh, home right now and I love her. She's so good. I have some pretty understated luck with uh, shiny Pokemon. Oh, yeah, shiny Azumarill is so cute. And, and Azumarill is a fantastic Pokemon. That is such a good Pokemon. It's been super useful for a lot of the, the raid battles recently with like Charizard and Cinderace and a lot of those Pokemon have really benefited from uh, somebody using an Azumarill. So that's some really good luck. I got, um... The, like, first area where you can find, uh, Drifloon? I found a shiny Drifloon in Pokemon Scarlet. So, and that was, you know, like, like you said, like, not even an hour into the game. And I was like, is that a yellow balloon? <laughs> so, you and I got both that going on. All right, let's see. Shadow Rush the bag on, and we're going to Mega Drain that Clam Pearl again. I've had some pretty decent luck with shiny Pokemon, and some opposite luck with shiny Pokemon, where, like... Wow, this was really the worst time for a shiny-type scenarios. 
The first shiny I ever got. Well, not got. The first shiny Pokemon I ever saw in my life was in Pokemon Gold. And I was 12 years old and I had only just gotten Pokemon Gold version for Christmas. I was in the first route in the game. I didn't have Pokeballs yet. And I saw a shiny Sentret. As a 12 year old, I had no idea what it was. And so I had to kill it anyway. I really wanted to catch it, but I didn't have Pokeballs yet. So that was the beginning of my journey of shiny Pokemon. Wow, wow, that's a really fast Bramblin. I, I, I remember uh, in Scarlet, I was uh, getting a flaming Tauros for one of my friends who didn't have one. And so I was breeding and my first egg, the first egg I hatched was a shiny fire Tauros. And I was like, I, I didn't even want this. Why? Why is this here? We've got Shroomish can now be purified. Nice. Okay. We should be able to do that from the PC, right? We could just purify it from the PC, I think. Hmm. I'm going to go check on Spinarak as well. We need to switch some Pokemon in and around and about. But, uh... I, I didn't... I've done a lot of shiny hunting in my years. I think the quickest one that I actually was attempting a shiny hunt and not just the egg hatched and it was shiny was uh, I was getting a protein froki and I, I, I was trying to get a shiny protein froki and I got it in eight eggs. I was like... Why was that so fast? Ridiculous. I expected to get at least like... Can I, can I actually purify you? Can I... Move, rotate, summary. How do I actually purify it, though? Is it just done now? No, it's not purified yet. I don't know how I do that. Ah, I don't do much competitive. Actually, I don't really do any competitive. I could. I just don't have the reading people's moves 10 steps ahead. You know, I've seen your 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 play from five miles away. 4D chess. I can't do it. It's too much for me. It's too much for my brain. Too much stress. I've done competitive a little bit. I did a little bit in um, Sword and Shield. I did a little bit, but I'm not good at it. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. I don't have the DLC either. That's mostly just because... I don't know. I liked I liked Scarlet and Violet's story, but... I have a hard time getting back into it once, once I finished the main story, and I just... I, 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 like I said, I liked Scarlet and Violet's story, but the rest of it I was kind of disappointed with. Mmm, I see. That's unfortunate. I just, I wasn't going to spend that much money on it. I don't have the money to spend on it anyway. So I was like, look, it just wasn't worth it. Here's a Pokemon that's ready to open its heart. Yes, there is. Can I do it from here? Do I do it from here? Ooh. Hey! Look, we can see Celeste and Brutus. Look at them pulling their work. Nice. Okay. Good stuff. Dig. Refresh. Okay. 15. Nice. A ribbon. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, they all get ribbons, I believe. Uh, I'm gonna name you... Hmm... I have to name her Gwen, don't I? I kind of have to. Gwen... There we go. Yeah! Spider Gwen! Transfer to PC. Okay, cool. Alright. Now can I... Ooh, I'm in the middle. Edit. Uh, I would like to... 
put my mushroom there. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Mushroom? Yes. Place. No. Yes. Do it. Yay! Alright. Dun 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 dun! Yay! Oh, I can't wait. I love Berlum a lot. It's good to have a fighting type, too. And a grass type. I usually don't have grass types. I'll swipe. Okay. Refresh. I'll swipe and refresh? You don't have a fighting type? Move! 16. All right. Um. 17. Haha. <laughs> yeah. I'm not very good at reading. Like, I, I can read well, I'm just not fast. And I don't read well out loud. I'm trying, though. I mean, doing this, these videos and streaming and the channel and stuff of, uh... Ooh. Well, I'm glad to hear that your team building is good. I, I, I am good at team building for the base game. <laughs> Like, I just, I can never keep up with competitive. There's too many things, too many moving parts. I, I just, I would get overwhelmed. Uh, give a nickname to Shroomish. Yes. Um. Hmm. What do I name you? Hold on. I'm going to look up the names of mushrooms. Mushrooms. Types of mushrooms. What do I name a mushroom? It's it's a boy. I can't name him Portabella. That sounds like a girl mushroom's name. Hmm. Um, hmm. Hmm. Enoki. We'll name him Enoki. And... Enoki. Those are those little long mushrooms that go in soup. Enoki. Yes. Lion Man is a cool name, but I feel like it's a little much for a shroomish. <laughs> uh, yeah, it would be the perfect, perfect at, at, at all of these things. Oh, uh, unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Let us move or shroomish back. Enoki. There we go. How close are you? Close-ish. At least below half. Um, I guess we'll put Nummel in next. Purify chamber. PC. Oh, uh... This is a good question, and also one that I can answer very easily. So, my favorite type and my favorite Pokemon are both of the same variety. Uh, Gorgeist is really good. I do like uh, Pumpkaboo a lot. But uh, my favorite type is Electric, and my favorite Pokemon of all time is Raichu. I like Pikachu well enough. I think Raichu doesn't get enough love. I adore Raichu. I know it's not good in competitive. I don't care that it's not good in competitive. I love him. I love him so much. And I don't mean Alolan Raichu. I do like Alolan Raichu. I think he's really good. But I love the classic Raichu more than anything. I also really like Fire and Fairy type as well. Fire, Electric, and Fairy are my top three favorite types. I like them a lot. I always have a Fire Pokemon and an Electric Pokemon in my team if I can. I've heard that Raichu with Wish is good or something. I heard that there's like a way to get it with Wish or something like that, and that's good. I don't know. I don't know enough about competitive to know. I just know that sometimes you can get it with Wish. Um, I love Raichu. He's my baby. I can't get one in this game, unfortunately. But that's okay. Now we go back to Pyrite Town. 
Now, my second favorite Pokemon would be a more difficult question because that's like, that's very difficult. Because <laughs> I really like Rowlet a lot. He's super round and adorable. He's a little bean. Um, I like Charizard, but not as much as like, you know, Charizard's kind of a little overrated, but I still do like Charizard. Uh... Gosh, there's just so many. I like Delcaddy and Skitty. I like most of the cat Pokemon. I don't think there's a cat Pokemon yet that I just straight up don't like. Oh, Lightning Rod is very good. That's its uh, hidden ability, right? It is Lightning Rod. Uh, I think... I think my Raichu on, uh, on Scarlet has its hidden ability. This is really good for pivoting if you have a uh, Lightning Rod on it. Uh, well, I think I already fought. Did I fight you already? I think I did. I think we need to fight this guy next. Bonjour. Did you know my Pokemon and I match trivia? No, I don't think anyone could, I don't think I could ever lose now. I'll show you my aggressive style. Okay. Body. Dobby? Dobby. I thought his name was Body. I was because of the... <laughs> Sorry, how he looked, and then the name? I completely read that wrong. I don't have dyslexia, I swear. <laughs> Look at Anoki! Yay! No to shadow Pokemon anymore. Oh! You have Shockwave? Boy, why you got Shockwave? I'm not complaining, but like, what? Okay, uh, well, Mega Drain, I guess? Ghost Grass is a good typing. Grass I like a lot, but, like, I don't know. Bramblegast is fun. It's it's a tumbleweed. When, when I first saw it, I was like, that makes so much sense to be a Pokemon. You know? It's just a little tumbleweed. I'm kind of picky about grass types, I guess. There are some grass types that I love. Like, I really like uh, Shroom, Shroomish and Breloom. I really like Torterra. I love Rowlet. And then there are other grass types where I'm like, eh, I'm not a huge fan of Roserade. I, I like, I like Vileplume and its its line, and I really like, uh, what is the other one? Blossom. I really like Blossom as well. But I'm not a huge fan of, like, Victory Bell is fine, I guess. I don't know. There's some grass types where I'm like, hmm, hmm. They do also have a lot of cool ones. I really like Sir, uh, Superior, the Snivy's final evolution. It's a big snake! It's cool. Uh, we want a Mega Drain again. Yes. But, you know. Yeah. Like, that's, that's the sad thing, because, like, Victory Bell's line is really good uh, attack. Like, they have pretty hard hitting. But I just, I don't know. They were never really my thing. I think the only reason I like Victory Bell, the final stage of that at all, is because of James from Team Rocket. Because his Victory Bell was great. That thing would just bite his head at any point in time. <laughs> um, honestly, the anime made me like a lot of Pokemon I didn't initially like. It's, it's very good at, at making me turn around on them. But I've also, I also, uh, in my spare time, do a lot of Nuzlocks, and that also helps turn me around on a lot of Pokemon. Like, uh, I used to not like Perugly. I liked Glammeow a lot. I used to really not like Perugly, because it was very upsetting to me that this cat went from being so pretty to not pretty at all. Um, but when I did a Nuzlocke, and that thing basically carried me through most of one of the games I played, I was just like... Never mind, we like Perugly. <laughs> With Fake Out, it, it, I think it had Fake Out and Charm. And th that combo of like making them flinch on their first turn and doing damage and then just destroying how much attack they had was great. Um, I can see that. I can see that uh, there are a lot of people that that happened to where like the overexposure to Pikachu really made them dislike it. But I guess my problem, my thing right is that I... Oh, Ditto's great. Ditto's also really good. Um, I I just can't dislike Pikachu because it turns into Raichu and Raichu's my favorite. <laughs> so I have to at least like Pikachu a bit. And I do like Pikachu quite a bit. I have a lot of Pikachu merchandise and I have since I was young, but Pikachu's never been my favorite. 
It's always been Raichu. What am I doing? Uh, Delcaddy, Anuki, we're fine with that. We're gonna put Porcelain up front because they need to get some uh, stuff. I need to find... Okay, so they said it's this... I'm assuming it's this big building, this white one here, is where we need to go. Hello. This is the ONBS building. There have been too many shady people hanging around lately. I'm keeping an eye on things to keep out those sort of bad elements. Okay. <laughs> Ditto is a fun Pokemon. I like it. Hello. Hey, we have a Shroomish too. Shroomish friends. Welcome to N O N B S. Uh, all visitors are free to wander the ONBS building and see our network in operation. My name is Meg, and I'm uh, the official guide. Glad to meet you. Shroomish. This is Shroomish. It's my friend. Isn't it cute? Yes. Yes, it is. They're so grumpy. Mm. Parasect is fun. Parasect is also kind of spooky. But Parasect is fantastic because of Spore. You know? I mean, so is... Uh, Shroomish. But it takes a long time to get them to get, to get Spore. If I remember correctly, like... Shroomish doesn't learn Spore until, like, way after it's supposed to evolve or something. I don't remember the whole details. No. Did you come to take a tour of ONBS too? I've been here lots of times. I uh, heard that it was starting uh, kids. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah, I knew those kids. Well, I didn't know those kids, but a, a previous version of me knows those kids. A much cooler version of me who had a motorbike instead of a scooter. <laughs> At the very least in this game, they've made it so I can't look in the trash cans. So I can't do that compulsively like I usually would. Hello. We're getting news reports from all over, like we always do. Our reporters are keeping busy. The hottest news story is going right now at the wild Pokemon story. Oh yeah, the wild Pokemon. Uh, the Ori region is finally getting wild Pokemon back again. Balance is being restored. Hello. Razzle and Dazzle are hot new idol duo from Gatian Port. They can sing, dance, and even perform magic stunts. Oh, I remember them. Hi! My name is Razzle. I've been chosen to dance during the opening of the new program. I'm ecstatic, but I'm really nervous too. What should I do? Hi, I'm Dazzle. Aren't I just the cutest? This is how I always am. After all, we're going to be dancing in front of the show's title logo. We have to show we have to show at a set of we have to show us at our very best. That is a weird sentence. I understand it, but weird. Hello. Ore, ore, ore network. Ack. Did you hear me? Oh no, it's so embarrassing. That was the ONBS song I composed. It's catchy and memorable, don't you think? Are you sure? Hello? Are you the person I need to talk to? Hi, welcome to ONBS. My name's the name's Sec. I'm supposed to be in charge here. I'm glad to meet you. Hello. Started by five kids years ago during the Shadow Incident, a tiny network has grown to this today. I operate this place with my partner Net. We're convinced that the that reporting the unvarnished truth will be good for the peace of justice. Anyways, what did you did you want something from me? Yes, sir. Ask the crane's message on to Sec. You're kidding! Cypher was using its deserted lab again? Yeah. Okay, understand. I understand. You should take... Well, well apparently it's just food soon. Eh, it's gonna have to wait for... 10 more minutes? Something like that. Okay, understood. You should take that data ROM and show it to Net right away. I'm sure he can decipher whatever information is stored on that data ROM. Yeah! Where is he? Net! locked. I can't go in there. Hello. I'm hoping to put together a new Pokemon battle program. I'm gathering information for it. Uh, I'm trying to decide on the star. Hmm. Since it's a program about battling, I suppose the legendary trainer Egan would be a local logical choice. Yeah, or if you could find that guy from five years ago who saved the entire region from the shadow Pokemon crisis, but I doubt it. He's probably long gone. I don't know where my mommy is. Please, can you help me find my mommy? Sure, honey. Thank you. I wonder where my mommy went. I'll go join the party. Let's go see if we can find your mother. 
We're going live. Okay, go with Q. They're going live. We get to see it live. We bring you a special news bulletin. Professor Crane, the abducted head of the Pokemon HQ lab, has been safely rescued. Professor Crane had been held captive in Cypher's des desert research facility, which was widely believed to have been abandoned. Reports say that Professor Crane was rescued by a lone teen. Hi, that's me. This incident is evidence that Cypher has been returned after being apparently crushed five years ago. The authorities fear that Cypher re Cypher's return could result in more serious accidents. Citizens are urged to be vigilant and cautious. Blech. We got to see it live. Okay, that's a wrap. Good job. Hello. Acne's looking great like she always does. Might be hard to imagine, but when Acne was starting out, she was prone to on-air disasters. Now look at her. She's become ONBS's n n top newscaster. There's absolutely no question about that these days. Hello, ma'am. I'm Akna. I'm the newscaster here at OMAN OMBS. My job is to deliver the news to as many people as possible. When I started out, I did experience some close calls, but still, I find this job to be fulfilling. Good, good. <clears throat> now, where is your mother, small child? You're not her mother, are you? No? Okay. You know, never. you can never be sure. Alright. Hello. Okay. Not you. I guess we go up? Her mother may be up. Hello, have you seen this child's mother? Man, is she slow. How long is she gonna keep me waiting? Grr. I'm supposed to be out covering a story with our oldest veteran reporter, but she takes forever getting ready every time. Days will be done at this rate. Oh yeah. Just checking to see if we needed to heal. We're fine. Oh, this isn't going well. I have to go on air soon, but my candy hasn't come back. Your mother? This is your mother. Oh, here we go. Oh, mommy! Candy, sweetheart! Candy? Candy with a K and two E's. What a way to spell that name. Mommy! Oh my, am I glad to see you? I was worried about you. You seem to just disappear. I'm sorry, mommy. I went out of your room for just a minute, but I couldn't find it again. That guy here brought me. Ayo. Oh my, how very kind of you. Thank you. No problem. Sure, sincerely, thank you. Small attrition paper. Ooh. Sooth Bell. I don't think I have any Pokemon that evolve with friendship, though. Nope. I'm pretty sure all of them evolve with level up. We're still looking for what's his face. Hey, you can't. Well, we're just not here. Aw, but I want the item. And some props can't be. But the item! You won't let me have it. Rude. Hello. I know that I still have my looks, but when I'm going before a TV camera, I have to be extra careful with my makeup. Okay. Here, can't you see that a lady is getting ready? Please don't come any closer. It won't let me have the items. I want the shinies! Is he up here? Hello? I've been told by Net and not allowed anyone through. He's working right now. Huh? You came from the Pokemon HQ lab. But I still can't let you through. I'll get in trouble if I do. Getro, do we have a visitor? Oh, Net. The person here says he's coming from the Pokemon HQ lab. Yeah. I know they're not in uh, Colosseum that you can get them shiny. It's just very difficult. Because you won't know that they're shiny until after you purify them, I think, was the thing. I think. Yeah. Which is wild. Oh, Nat, this person here says he's calling from the Oh, yes, I was expecting him. Please show him through. Oh, he was expecting me. Oh, is it after you caught them? Is that what it is? I knew it was something wild like that. In battle, they're not shiny. Right, right. Because it goes by the trainer ID, and the trainer ID is different before you catch them. That's what it was. Because they're with a different trainer. Or thing, let him through. Okay. Now, please, Nets waiting for you inside.
I remember seeing a video of a guy trying to get every single shadow Pokemon shiny, and that was wild. A lot of effort. Took him a long time, and I'm like, I do not have that kind of patience. Hello, I've been expecting you. You're Tabby, right? I'm Nat. And this is Bit. He's my friend, and he's an invaluable partner. Hello. Pleased to meet you. Yeah, it's a good video. We heard from Professor Crane. Sounds like you pulled off a daring rescue. Yes, Bit, but now's not the time to waste chatting. Let's see the data Professor Crane called about. Yeah. Hand it over the D data ROM. I've deciphered something similar to this before. It brings back memories. Okay, I think it's going to take some time for me to check the contents of this data ROM. Can you wait while I do that? Of course. Hey, Ned, how's this for an idea? Our news team should be out visiting Duking on one of his Poke spots to file a story about the wild Pokemon. Since he's got free time, why not have him go visit Duking as well? Ooh, we can see some wild Pokemon. Hey, that's good. A good suggestion, Bit. Are you interested in wild Pokemon? Wouldn't be hurt. Wouldn't hurt to go look, you know. Yeah. Oh yes. May I have your PDA number? I'll contact you as soon as I find anything out. Yeah. Here you go. Try to decipher this as quickly as possible. By the way, Bit, where is our news team? Um, I think they said the Rock's Poke Spot. Rock. Poke Spot is in this station. Okay. Alright, Tabby, go out to the Poke Spot and wait for me to call. Who knows? You may see some wild Pokemon. Yay! Get some wild Pokemon! It's so fun to me that, like, that is one of the, like, new things this game added is wild Pokemon, considering that all of the other games, that was, you know, the point. <laughs> Unless you're playing Mystery Dungeon, then it's not. <laughs> and everybody's a Pokemon. Alright, uh, let's get out of here. Goodbye, Shroomish friend! Hmm? Oh, these two goons. Hey, you don't think it's too tough for us to pull anything in the Hey, don't you think it's too tough for us to pull anything in the sound? Our faces are too well known. Yeah, I hear you. If we don't hurry, the boss will get impatient and come looking for us himself. <laughs> we're okay on that score. I went and snuck a transmitter on the boss. You can tell where he is by checking this radar. So we can always get ready for him when he blows his top. I truly really have to hand it to you, Folly. Way to go. Huh? Ridley, looks like we got an email. Ah, is it the boss? Hmm, let's see. You two come back here right now, it says. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. Sounds like he's having, like he's fuming. He might dock our dinner again. We better shoot back. Wow, he can go dock your dinner? Move. Well, so much for this radar. Not much use if a boss is going to page us by email. Oh man, why do our lives have to be this tragic? <laughs> These poor guys. They didn't leave the radar or anything, did they? I think I know who their boss is. In fact, I know I know who their boss is. And I want that radar. I want it. Um, how is our Delcatty looking again? I think it was below half. Oh, he's even more. He's real close to being able to be purified. Good stuff. Alright, two... The poke spot. Yes. Yes. Then I know exactly who it is already. And has the best music in all of Pokemon. <laughs> Hello, people. It is time for Potfee's Fast Break Report. We bring you news while it's breaking. Today, our visiting we are visiting Duking, the discoverer of poke spots where wild Pokemon appear. <laughs> you did not wear that hat five years ago, sir. Duking is said to be the driving force behind the booming popularity of wild Pokemon and Pyrite. Duking, so is this the spot you discovered? Hello, Duking here. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Original plus dad. Correct. You always gotta dress for, you know, what you want uh, people to see. Every, um, you know what I mean. 
If you want to be treated well, you have to dress well? That's not how that should go, actually. But there are a lot of games where just because something looks silly doesn't mean it doesn't have the best stats. For 15 long and torturous years, I toiled, snatching sleep only grudgingly to find this poke spot. Wow, 15 years, is that true? Uh, yeah, uh, one shouldn't let details get in the way of the story, isn't that right, Betty? It's Potfy! All right. <laughs> I think the, the hat may be giving him a negative to charisma. <laughs> All right, let me explain how one goes about attracting wild Pokemon to a Pokestop. Well, seeing as you're here, wouldn't it be better if I got someone to demonstrate? Hi. Oh, you there. Yes, you kid. You'd be perfect. Come over here. Yeah, okay. Hello. I'm going to be on TV. Hey, Ma. Jovi. I'm on TV. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Not over there. I need you this way. Between me and Betty, right? Oh, okay. It's Potfy. Yes, uh, sir. Okay. All right. <laughs> it literally just took one step to the right. <laughs> All right, my friend. Let me show you how to attract wild Pokemon to a Pokespot. First of all, you'll need the Duking brand Pokestacks. Here, I'll give you some. Ten! Thank you. All right, my friend, lay those Pokesnacks out there on that plate. Go on. Okay. Two? Put two. Very good, mate. That's how you do it. When you've laid out the Pokesnacks, leave the area. Eventually, a wild Pokemon will come along. Just you wait. The more Pokesnacks you lay out, the lo longer the Pokemon will stay and eat. Oh. This is also important. My specifically made spot monitor. This, I'm sure you'll agree, is truly, truly awesome. My goodness. You developed this device yourself? Uh, yeah. Uh, one shouldn't let the... Get... I bet Net developed it. It's Potfy. By the way, Duking, can you tell us what a spot monitor is? I'm glad you asked me that. The spot monitor is dandy. It lets you know what's happening at any poke spot, wherever you are. Here, my friend. As thanks for hearing me out patiently, I'll make a gift to this to you. Slot it into your PDA. That's all you need to do to make it work. Simple. Ooh. Hey, -o. Spot monitor. Neat. All right, now you're set. Now, when a wild Pokemon appears at any Poke Spot, your Spot Monitor will respond and alert you. I found three Poke Spots in all. There's one to the west of here. We're in there. Using Poke Spots, try and catch yourself some wild Pokemon. Yeah. Is this Poke Snack? It looks like either cake or cheese. Can't tell which. Yeah, now you can catch wild Pokemon right here in the ore region. When I'm on hol holidays, I should go exploring too. Hello, ma'am. Oh, you are so lucky to get a private lesson from Duking himself. I mean, it made me a little envious. Cheesecake! It does look like cheesecake. Oh, goodness, is the camera still rolling? <laughs> Potfy's fast break report. Hey, our special guest was duking. See you again next time. After laying out the poker snacks, get away from the poker spot and wait for the wild Pokemon to come along. While you're waiting, it wouldn't hurt to check other poker spots. A wild Pokemon will appear sometimes. When the one does show up, use your spot monitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many poker snacks do you have left on the spot monitor? Oh, neat. Well, I can tell you no Pokemon are going to show up if you guys keep hanging around. Oasis poker spot. Okay. We'll hand over there. Oh. Neat. Alright, well... As much as I'd like to catch some wild Pokemon and see the uh, Trudley and Sully's boss, we're gonna have to save that for next week. Uh, which we are, next Friday, going to be doing another stream. Usually we do every other Friday. But because the holidays are coming up and I'm going to be busy for the holidays, I'm going to do another stream next week and then we'll end up having to uh take a break until oop hold on i think my phone <laughs> tracking stopped uh until sometime after new year's is probably when we'll pick this back up so maybe on the fifth we'll have to see i will be posting it on my twitter when when, when it'll be coming back up uh but for now 
uh, this is going to be the end of the stream. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out. I had a great time. And I hope to see you here next week if you can make it. Be the same time, same place. Oh, thank you for the follow. Thank you, Joey. All right. Bye-bye. Hey, you there. Thanks for staying to the end of the video. Uh, if you liked what you saw, then uh, feel free to hit that like button. Maybe leave a comment if you have something to say. If you want to see more, maybe subscribe. And hey, uh, I have a bunch of other games that I've played. So if you head over to my homepage, you can find those there. Maybe find something else you're interested in. And uh, all of that supports this channel, which I appreciate a whole ton. So, you know. Go do it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. And I'll uh, see you next time. Bye.